Are you still looking for a good directional blur that you can use in your edits so they don't look like ass anymore? Well, don't worry, because today we'll show you step by step everything you need to know and how you can make the best and smoothest directional blur ever in After Effects. As you can see, I got myself two clips of Batman right here just to show you. To start, go ahead, open your effects and presets panel and search for directional blur. Now, which one you use for your edits doesn't really matter. I would personally recommend you to use BBC directional blur, but the other ones work fine as well. Once you've gotten the effect, make sure to drag it onto your clip. And for me, I'm going to put a vertical directional blur so I'm gonna put the angle from 90 down to 0. Next, I'm gonna put my blur amount up to 80. Now for the blur amount, you can go very high or keep it very low. It just depends on what kind of look you wanna accomplish with your edit. I always like to keep it in the middle, so I'm gonna put 80. Once you've set the blur amount to 80, make sure to go to the very first frame of your clip and set a keyframe. Now press U on your keyboard, go to the very end of the clip and set the value down to 0. As you can see, we now have two keyframes to make it look way smoother. We're gonna add a graph though. To add a graph, go ahead, select both the keyframes, Right click, go to keyframe assistant and hit easy ease. Now you can open the graph editor and just copy my graph. Make sure that once you're finished, your graph looks something like this. And once that's done, you can go ahead and close the graph editor again. Now, if you have more than one clip in your edit, which probably is going to be the case, you're going to go ahead and copy the keyframes and paste them onto the other clips. I'm going to show you how to do that now. So once you've finished all the steps, go ahead and copy the keyframes. Now copy the effect from the effects panel by pressing Ctrl and C. Go onto your next clip and paste it by pressing Ctrl and B. Now when you press U, you can see that the keyframes are on this clip as well. But as you can see, they don't fit on the clip now. To fix that, just select both of the keyframes and while pressing Pressing Alt on your keyboard, make sure to drag the second one till it fits your clip. Now the last and most important step that you don't want to miss is adding a good color correction. As you can see, a good color correction can boost the quality of your edit immensely. If you want to get my color correction that I use in my edits to get the best quality ever, make sure to check the first link in the description because as of now, I'm running a huge sale on my shop. You can get up to 70% off of my products. Make sure to not miss out on your opportunity to get the best quality ever. Now once you've done all the steps, you're good to go. You can now render your edit. And if you like this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below telling me what tutorial you want to see next. Also, as I said, don't miss out on the offer in my shop. And also, join my Discord because we're a huge community of editors. You can ask me questions or just spread your wisdom with others. That's it. Thank you for watching and see you next time.